Well, we talk some news, see what's going on in the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good man. Take it away, Ben. Uh, cool, yeah. So uh, the first bit of news is for Age of Sigmar and Warcry, which is their sort of skirmish game on the side that sort of sets the flavor for the world of the Mortal Realms. And kicking things off, we've got a, a couple of new looks at some monsters that are going to be showing up in Warcry. And leading the way was the teaser for the Ogroid Myrmidon, which I thought was very, very cool indeed. I like so we might you may remember a model similar to this from Silver Tower. Uh, we had the, I think it was the Ogway Thormaturge or something, I think his name was. It was one of the characters from Silver Tower, which was the Warhammer Quest board game that came out a couple of years ago. Now they're sort of messing around with that and playing around with some of the different sort of styles with the model. And of course, now you've got a little bit more of a martial one here rather than a spellcaster, which looks very, very cool indeed. It's also obviously a good tie into all those kind of chaos armies that already exist out there. And as with most stuff from Warcry, it'll probably see itself appearing in Age of Sigmar later on as well. But we'll get to that a little bit later. What I like about that in particular, Ben, is mm. it hasn't been ruled in a bits box. Mm. Yes. Yeah. It, it, you know, there's there, there's just the right amount of detail on that as a mm. as a miniature for me. Mm. No, I have I I've, I've seen better, mm. but I really like it. I you know I think as a monster. Even in my D and D games, I would like mm. to have that, you know, as a as a monster to me. Cool. Yeah, I think they've got. I think they've got it looking really fearsome and deadly, and I love the way that they've got styled it. He used a lot of sort of um, sort of hints and things that we've seen from other monsters created by other companies as well, like Zealots, Minotaurs, and that kind of thing. And I think it's cr- transferred over really nicely into what you see here, and it kind of gives that edge of chaos that I think everyone really enjoyed from sort of like the final days of seventh and eighth edition and stuff, moving into. Uh, Age of Sigmar as it is now, so it's very cool. Yeah, great stuff. What's next? Uh, so next up, we've got the, another monster that's also new called the Mind Stealer Spherex, <laughs> which you can see there. Well, no. And this is, as some people have as coined it, an Animuth monster, which I thought was quite funny. But this is a very, very awesome looking creature that, again, builds on the kind of background of uh, the world of Age of Sigmar and the Mortal Worlds. And I think this is kind of really interesting and key to Warcry as a whole, is it's allowing them to flesh out not just the Realm of Chaos, but all the other factions as well, hopefully down the line, and kind of build the character and sort of aesthetic for the world, which is a little bit odd, a little bit twisted, a little bit weird. While, while rather than just writing it all down in rule books, they're kind of doing it with really interesting miniatures, a little bit like how um, Warhammer Forge used to do for for Forge World. And I think I think this looks great. Uh, it's very weird and off the wall, but I think it looks fun. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not convinced. It, oh, it's like a cat llama. <laughs> it, yeah. it, it's it, right. Well, uh, okay. It's let's, three, let me, it's let me get three, it's let me three get o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. yeah. and you've got this in your army, uh, and it's coughing up <laughs> 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 huge uh, furball. Right, so first things first, right? The, the two heads, right? Mm-hmm. There's one's got buck teeth. I, I think they both have that. It's uh, just one's got the mouth open. Well, right, so it hides okay. it better. It's, it's an odd-looking thing. It's an odd-looking thing, I've got to say. But the and bit, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and do you know what? I, I'm accepting of the odd-looking uh, design aspect. I, I think, yeah, fair enough. The fur is rubbish, though. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> the fur is absolute rubbish. It's the model's too smooth. Where where did their do they not remember how to do fur anymore? Like or or like is that supposed to be fur or is it supposed to be just mostly shaved with a little bit of fur? Well, I think it's meant to be sort of like that very close cut fur that you get on some cats and then some of the sh- more shaggy stuff around the neck and things like that. So Maybe it doesn't try to come for a little bit more of a wild cat look to it. The mangy then. So you it's <laughs> more of a Mangy shaved kind of a yeah, pussy cat. It, it, yeah. it kind of looks like it's starving a little bit. You can see the ribs there. Yeah, I'm not. Oh. I think it might just be the paint job. I think I like mine hairier. So <laughs> I, do. I think I do. I think I think if it, I think if I was going in on that, you know, I might. You want a fuzzy kitty? I'd flock it. You want a fuzzy kitty? I think I think so. I yeah. think I, I think I'd flock it to try and make it hairier. I, I don't know why it's called pink braids. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. No. It's, it's the uh, natural colorings of the world of chaos, clearly. I mean, yeah. That, that, <laughs> and, uh, and here's the other thing, right? <laughs> Which army is that for? Well, it's not for a particular army. It's for Warcry, but I'm sure it'll pop up as sort of like a monster that you'll get, be able to bring into like a chaos force, for example. It's a wandering nature, monster. So. A wandering monster. Yeah. Mm. Say wandering monster, it's probably chasing a ball of twine. Or like <laughs> yeah, or, you know, if, the, if you had thing in the, this thing in Lord of the Rings, Sauron might just look and it's chasing the laser bot. Right. Well, if there was a way to make it more hairy, I'd be into that. Mm. What What else have we got? Is there uh, is that the only two? No, no, no. no. There? There's there's more here. Oh, okay. Uh, well. I think you'll like this one. 
Yeah, yes. so there's a couple more there's a couple more releases further down, but one of the final mods seen previously was also now sort of like re uh, revamped and retalked about. Here is we've got the Fumeroid Crusher, which will be available as part of the Warcry selection next year as well. So that's the third of these sort of big monsters that they've been showing off for Warcry there that we had seen before. I really like the look of it. Uh, again, a really cool chaos style to it and messing around with a very typical sort of like um, Warhammer old world style creature and doing something a little bit new with it. So I like the cool. skin color change thing. That's the skin cool. color change is kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah. See, I wouldn't mind having like a full army of this kind of race. Would be very cool. Yeah. You know. Is it a race or is it a, is it a construct? I don't know. Yeah. It'd be interesting know. to see. It's cool. Well, it would be tied to the Femore, if so, who people would probably know from mm -hmm. like... Uh, Warhammer fantasy and that kind of thing. It was kind of like that strange, slightly alien race that you got in the game, lived out in the swamps and that kind of thing. But this is like a rather big, much bigger version of it that's clearly, you know, been on the uh, been, on, been on the diet and hitting the gym and stuff. So I like the fact that he's got his uh, armored eye patch for his yes, one for his one eye because yeah. you don't yeah. want that poked out. No. Ah, ah, that's a good one. right. What, what's next? Keep going, keep going. Uh, we have a unit. Yeah, so this then feeds into uh, a new army that's coming well a revamped army that's coming to age of sigma and that is that we're finally seeing the slaves of darkness so chaos and divided getting a proper revamp for age of sigma those kind of like tight um stocky looking chaos warriors have been given a little bit more of a dynamic look to them and you can see some of them there in that set that you can see so they're very very typical of the kind of chaos warriors that you would have seen maybe if you saw a lot of the old posters from over fantasy with um you know that they got done by the likes of adrian smith they've kind of transferred over that look of the chaos warriors yeah. into the mix here as you can see here and then that leads on to a revamp of the chaos knights as well i uh, love this is a big one well wait before you go there yeah. I love these. Yeah, the variation in these really feels like it fits with the narrative. It's, yeah. it, and I just, there's, there, there's some of these poses are lovely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, big fan of those. All right, now the big one, because I know you love the Chaos Knights. I do, yeah. So, <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, mama. <laughs> now, the Chaos Knights that I have are just trotting. Yes. You know, they're, they're on a nice, almost like a peaceful trot. Mm -hmm. But these guys, look at that guy there. That's Properly it. charging in. Yeah. The one with the big lance. The one with the, well, <laughs> yeah, they all have a big lance. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, um, there's that particular model over on Jerry's side. Well, he doesn't have a lance. He's stolen the Witch oh. King's mace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's good. <laughs> and <laughs> these are beautiful. If I was yeah. other cavalry warrant, I would not be riding away from these because you might get one of those uh, big lances up the bum bum. How about no, thank you. I am telling you, I'm. They're right, riding around looking for robbery. I want a set of these. Mm, I yeah. absolutely <laughs> want a set of those. It, it, it's one of it's one of the cool things about what they've done here is that like they've managed to keep I think a lot of the essence of what made Chaos Knights cool. Mm. That sort of like grim, heavily armored don't really give a toss about anybody, no expressions to their faces, yeah. just serious badasses in heavy armor charging forward. And I think they've done a really good job of sort of translating that over into these sort of new, more dynamic sculpts for uh, Age of Sigma. I wonder what sort of size these will be, because we haven't seen Chaos Warriors in a while. Mm. And mm. I wonder if these are going to be scaled up to match the um, Stormcast. Stormcasts. Mm. Yeah. Both of these are the infantry. Yeah. Because yeah. I haven't seen them beside anything, so I don't know what size bases anybody's on. They look like, and a, I imagine they would look. Yeah, if you not go similar, if you go back to the guys on foot. Yeah, because when I was looking at them, I was I was thinking I was getting vibes of Stormcast yeah. sort of proportions type stuff to this. Yeah, yeah, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah it, it would. depends. Like if they're twenty five mil bases that they're on, then they're they're about the same size as the, the as old the old ones. ones. Yeah, but if they're thirty twos. They're yeah. pretty beefy. They're, they are pretty beefy. Oh, we know, could probably so. tell from the the width versus depth then if we could really wanted to work it out. Yeah, you possibly could. Well, well I couldn't, but somebody who can use <laughs> somebody, <a> computer. <laughs> somebody yeah. could. Yeah. Um, but I've got to say, I don't know where I'm at on this. Right, okay. So either, right, let me, let me I've got a quandary. Mm. Mm. Half of me wants them to be a similar size to the old uh, chaos stuff so as i can get some of these and add them to my chaos army because yeah. they would not look out of place no, in the chaos army that i have yeah. stylistically they're very similar to mm -hmm. the last knights and the last warriors they're just poses have changed and i think what they would do is uh, one of the things that my chaos army kind of lacks uh, is uh, a dynamicness uh, yeah. to yeah. it Dynamism. so 
dining in the mezzotum. So give, adding, especially that cavalry. Um, yeah. You know, I'd love to add the, the other stuff, but the, the, it, it, even one box of each added would give me a substantial boost to the size of my uh, dark army. Yeah, but if they are upscaled... Well, here's the thing. The other half of me would like to see them upscaled to Sigmar standard. Uh, in, in big and end. Yeah, yeah, in big end, because they will be absolutely gorgeous. However, it would mean that I would have to dump my army. Yeah. For for me, what I love most is just the breakup of the uniformity. Just every one of those guys feels like his own champion of chaos. Yeah. I like cool. all the fabric. Yeah. Working all the fabric in, like, look at that one near Jerry where it's attached to the front of the horse and stuff. Yeah. Up around his mouth. And the reins. Yeah. That's all really cool looking. Yeah, as I say, it's, it's really drawing on a lot of the sort of older artwork for Chaos War. Thing is really nice to see uh, that goes sort of like further back than the sort of st newer style that we're seeing for Age Sigma. So it's a nice callback to the world that was and stuff, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Lovely. Um, is that our lot on that uh, one? I think there well, might be more. Was oh, there more? Yeah it, yeah, it carries on to the final reveal because this <gasps> is all going to be part of a getting started set for the new um, Chaos Slaves to Darkness. Mm -hmm. And this is the new Chaos Lord who's on top of his big albino beastie, as you can see there. There's no name for exactly what that creature is. But again, it's kind of like a little bit of a sort of um, a different chaos -y take on the kind of style we've seen for some of the Stormcast Eternal Lords atop their, atop their Dracos. And that kind I of thing. think I shall call that a lino. A lino. It's a cross there between a, a, a lizard and a rhino. <laughs> so it'll be a, a lino. I was just going to call it a trogdor, the burning eater. Oh, he doesn't have majesty. <laughs> There's no wings there. He's that's not a wingling dragon. Point. That's an exceptional model. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the reason I think they're going to be upscaled to Stormcast. I yep. can see him sitting directly opposite his equivalent. Yes. Well, yeah, when I seen that, I thought, there you go. There's your answer. Yep. They're probably <laughs> being embiggened. Mm. Yeah, do you know what, Games Workshop? Embiggen away. Embiggen <laughs> away. They'll arrive and they'll all be perfectly scaled to the old stuff yeah. and you'll be so disappointed. No, no, only half of me will be disappointed. <laughs> oh, right, the other half will be overjoyed. So either way, you're... Ambivalent? Uh, no, uh, this this is one of those moments <laughs> it's, in wargaming it's win -win. where I'm in a classic win-win situation. Uh, so <laughs> doesn't matter what way they release it, you'll be happy. It's you know, I, I'm, I can't lose on this one. And, and do you know what? That makes me feel epic. <laughs> <laughs>